Welcome to the office. Hi. Huh? Welcome to the office. Thank you. Tell me, how can I help you? What are you doing here? It's been chronic pain and discomfort throughout the neck shoulder area. There's like a clicking that's been going on for probably like a decade now. Left shoulder? Both shoulders actually. Both clicking? Clicking. What happened 10 years ago? I don't know. I think it's just poor posture, just being in front of computers a lot. Okay. Yeah, it must be over 10 years now. Any shooting pain down your arm? Mm, sometimes, like I'll, it'll feel, it just depends. Um, currently I also cook for the okay. kitchen, so once in a while it'll feel like spazzy, like cramped. Cramped meaning tight, spazzy meaning pulsating. Cramped. Cramped. Yeah. Temperature changes, cold or hot, associated with it. Mm, no, okay. but generally my back generally just hurts in colder weather. Achy? Yeah. Okay. Any shooting pain down your leg? No. No. Okay. So number one is shoulder? Yeah. And neck? Probably. I also think it's like slightly humped here. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> okay. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. And then, but pain-wise, it's always my lower back. That's number one? Yeah. Okay. I think so. so. Number one is low back? Yeah. Uh, how long has that been going on? No, probably years also. Slips, falls that you recall? Car accidents? None. So no traumas, no slips, no falls you recall? No, nothing like that. So here's what we're going to do then, okay? We're going to go over your x-rays. I want to explain what I see. So we said 24 bones. We need to have a level base and foundation. Your major complaint is up here like on the 15th floor. So let's go a little closer and let's look at the foundation and let's see, did anything happen? Now, when we're looking at your foundation, we can see a few things. We can see that the right hip is slightly shorter than the left. This hip that's down on the right is coming from a bent tailbone right here, right there. So when I look at the tailbone, I can see right, this is slightly bent, and this is slightly bent. So we have, you have had a tailbone injury, and I'm gonna show you now on the other x-ray. When we look at this, I'm going back to the sacrum, what I was showing you on the first film. When we're looking at the tailbone, it should be a smooth arc. Okay. You got a couple of these nubs here. You actually have one, two, three, and you have a slight bend in the coccyx in the tailbone. Okay? okay. You can ask mom or dad or whoever. Okay. In the car accident when I was like four. Where were you? Huh? Passenger front? Oh, like back? No. Hopefully. In the street, got hit by a car. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of important. Oh, I thought it was That's like kind of really, really important. Hold on. You're so young. I was so young, though. I didn't. And I want you to go back to some of my videos. I have a lot of videos uh -huh. with kids as well. Yeah. And these tailbone injuries, these injuries that happen when we're kids and we kind of forget about and the body adapts and we get on with life. Yeah. It's 90% of the cases I see here. Okay. okay. So, um, were you hospitalized? Mm -hmm. Now it makes a little more sense. This is kind of when things started. All, all good. No, 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 all good. So, but I'm showing you that based yeah. on what I see, there was something that happened that started the process. Let's go back to here and let's look at the SI joints. Here's the good news. When we look through your SI joints, we can see nicely through both SI joints here and in here. This one is just a little bit tiny, but it's fine. Okay, but the main thing I want you to get from this tailbone, there's a bend in the sacrum that's causing a short leg and that's throwing the mechanics of the body off. We're going to go a little bit closer and we're going to look at S1. And when we look at S1 over here, this is... I'm going over this for a particular reason. You have another thing going on. This is when you were inside mommy's tummy. Um, this is a slight spina bifida, it's called. S1, let me talk about this and explain this. And why I'm doing that is, I'm going to touch that S1 sacrum and it will be tender, it's going to hurt. But it's not the cause of your back pain. When I get to the, the cause, I adjust it, I go back to this segment S1, it should feel better. Okay. 
that means we're on the right track. Cool? When we're looking at the spinous processes, the bumps in the back here, mm -hmm. okay? They form from these lamina, okay? These lamina. And the lamina here form these bumps here. Your S1, you can see it, it didn't form completely this way. There's a slight little overlap. Oh. And that's nor typically, it could be many causes, but typically B12 folic acid deficiency, folic acid deficiency of the pregnant mother, okay? Make sense so far? Mm -hmm. So issue here is tailbone. Mm -hmm. S1 is going to be tender. Mm -hmm. When I fix the cause, that should get better. Now let's look at the numbers. And what do the numbers mean? And the numbers will tell us the story now. Okay. So when we look at it here, we can see we have a measured difference of 7 millimeters. So the right leg is 7 millimeters shorter. And that's creating that compensation. In the Gonstead work, anything under seven millimeters, adjustments will hold. If we, we have a rotated pelvis and a rotated sacrum, we have a rotated pelvis and a rotated sacrum on the same side. The good news is there's not a lot of rotation. That's the good news. But let's talk about it. Left side goes up and in, left sacrum goes back and down. And when we see this here, this is what tells me there was a tailbone injury, by the way. Because this is level, this is two millimeters off. So two millimeters of the short leg is coming from the sacrum. One millimeter is coming from the pelvis. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we get it up under seven, everything is good. Okay. okay? Can I continue? Yes. All right, so we're clear on this. We got to get this right hip up. We're working on your sacrum. We have a PL sacrum, but we're probably starting down low. Now, let's continue up. As the foundation is level, then the next thing we need to talk about is what's happening here. Now, when we get a little closer, you can see how the short leg on the right is causing this slight kink to the right now. Yes? And then what is it doing? It's coming back to neutral, comes back to level in the middle of the back, right about here. Mm -hmm. The next thing that happens, and this also, next thing that happens, it starts to curve to the right side. Now, there's a finding I'm seeing here, it's just telling me your lifestyle. So I know you did a lot of work. Mm -hmm. I know you did a lot of, like, you did a lot of manual work, mm -hmm. okay? And when I'm looking at the bones here in the middle of the back, they should all be square. And we see that they're slightly concaved. Okay? Slight, slightly. Mm -hmm. That just tells me there was a lot of bending, a lot of lifting, a lot of, lot of movements, a lot yeah. of physical stuff. Okay. Now, let's get to the neck. Okay. T, C, C, T1, T2, T3. Up here, we have a side slip. There was also an injury here, right in that area. Either that was with whatever happened here, or it could have been separate. But, so this is causing the neck. Okay. This is coming from the low back. Let's go to the side profile and let's talk about the curve. And the first good news is your discs are good, okay? Mm -hmm. L5, you can see they're tilted, and there's a reason I'm explaining this. L5 is tilted, L4 is tilted more, L3 is tilted, 2, 1, 12. You see how they're all kind of tilting back? Slight angled all the way up, it's telling us all this is compensation for the low back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we're looking at the neck, what are we seeing? We're actually starting to see a slight reversal here. I know you get pops and cracks in your neck. Um, you can see the edges here wearing out a little bit. That was an old whiplash injury. Okay. Now, I can see C6 is slightly swollen. I can see C3 is slightly swollen. This is you going in extension. You don't have a lot of movement going back. This is you in flexion, and this is where we get our answer. When we look here, C2 move forward, 3, 4, 5. C6 did not move. You see how it's still kind of tilting back. So now we have a C6, we have a T3, and we have a sacrum. Okay. Those are your three majors so far. Digestion is okay. It's not too bad. Her Megan Blasey is there. Any questions on the films? No. Good? Yeah. You ready to get started? Mm -hmm. When we're looking here at her dimples and her sacrum, the first thing I want us to notice, she has swelling and puffiness in the tailbone. And you can see right here, okay? And that's from the sacrum misalignment. 
when we're looking at her overall posture, what are the things that we see here? We can see that the right side is slightly higher. The musculature is good here. Sorry if I'm tickling you. But here's the interesting part. So she was complaining about the hump, right? Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of people that have that. And the question is, where does that come from? So what we found in the Gonstead work is this. This is not that this is a hump, okay? I want us to be clear about this. Okay. And the majority of cases, what it is, it's from dishing of the spine. And you can see on the side, this, this is the thoracic spine. I see the bumps here. You can see the curvature here. But it kind of disappears in here. And so the dishing starts around T7. The dishing, so instead of the spine coming out, it goes in kind of flat like a dish. So it appears to be a big hump. Okay? Now, let's have you walk back and forth several times. Is this your normal walk, ma'am? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is your pace also? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> because... I'm quite slow. Okay. Slow because of pain, tired, or you're just chill? Chill. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So as she's walking, the right side doesn't want to go up. Okay, the right side is down, so this goes up on the left, the right just does a little bit. If we look over here, keep walking, please. Her left arch is good, her right arch is decent. There's a little bit of pronation of the right foot, just a tiny bit. Oh, speaking of feet. Yes, ma'am. My big toes feel numb. Both big toes? Numb meaning you have no feeling or a buzzing feeling? It feels almost like no feeling. Okay. That started about three months ago. Okay. And what she's describing is the L4 nerve distribution. But before we go there, we have to make sure that the foundation is set. Okay. Have a seat over here and let's get started. We have something to compare now. Starting at the base of the neck, the first thing we're getting is 15, 17 points, C6, left side. Going down, 15, 16 points, T7, T8. Little tickly. And there it is, 15 points, S3, S4. Okay, S3, S4, T7, T8, C6. Those are the three major pressure readings I'm getting today. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna check the motion of the hip. Open, close, open, close. Right side only, open the right knee, open, close, open, close. Left side only, open, Close. So when she does the left, the right is fine. Do the right side, please. Yeah, when she does the right, you can see this whole left side is moving because it's all stuck. And as we get to right about there, you can start to see the edema and swelling right there. Right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven more tender or eight more tender? Seven or eight? I think seven. Seven. Yeah. Six? No. Mm -hmm. Seven. Mm -hmm. Seven. And you can see as I come down to the tailbone, you can see the swelling and little orange peely. That's from edema. Okay. Now, let's check the low back, please. Back slowly towards me. This is L5. S1. All the way back, please. Good. S2. L. Tender. Mm -hmm. S3. One more. S4. S4 more tender there on the right, or S3 tender? I think four. Let's go down one more. Five. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Starts at four. Mm -hmm. On the left or on the right? Right there. I think the left. More swollen here? Ooh, yeah. Sharper? Yeah. I can Anything feel that in my shooting? Toe. <laughs> What's that? I can feel that in my toe. 
Ah, all right. Let's do that one more time, okay? okay. Five. S1. S2. Ow. S3. Okay. Down your toe. S3. Mm -hmm. S4. S4. Nope. S3. It's S4. Right there. Yeah. Okay. T7, S4, now let's check the neck. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're doing divorce test, turn left, turn right, look up at the ceiling, turn left, turn right. We're gonna wait on the neck. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm getting it more tight when you go this way, yes? Mm. When you go down mm -hmm. and turn left is what I'm feeling up here. Mm -hmm. When you look up and turn left, that seems okay to me. Is that hurt? Mm, not on the left, right. So. Painful when you go there? Mm -hmm. Okay. The thing is her motion is decent. Head down. There's lack of, there's more restricted range of motion looking down to me. So what we're gonna do is this. This is my game plan for today. Okay. Okay. So, we'll do S4. Mm -hmm. After S4, we'll do T7. After that, I'll have you walk a little bit. Then I wanna recheck the neck and see what showed up. Okay. Okay. Things up above can affect down below and vice versa. Got it. So, the pressure readings I'm getting and the x-ray findings, yeah say six but the motion says one so after we do the bottom ones we'll see how the body adapted okay okay makes sense you ready i'm ready show time one two three four so we're on s4 slightly on the left but we said that the short leg is on the right so we need to torque counterclockwise there you, go. you got her shasha mm -hmm. good deep breathing please man and out Slide up a little bit more, please. Muy bueno. She was behaving, right? There we go. Got it. That's a piece. A little more. That's a piece. Thank you, Shesha. Yeah. She's too flexible there. That's only a tiny bit. Let's go on the side and get the rest. and easy there. So we're coming all the way down. Look at that. Gotcha. Nice. Come up slowly, please. And let's walk back and forth. Very nice. Let's walk. Walk on your toes, please. Anything different on your toe? Mm, it looks still the numb feeling. Okay. The big toes. Let's go back on the gray table and do the mid back piece. So T7, we're going to set it as a. We're going to actually set it as a PRS. We're going to do this in two parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. That's a piece. T7 is a PRS holding the left side, coming in on the right. Gotcha. Home run. Yeah. Nice. Deep breathing. Deep breathing. One more time, please. Let's come back over here. Let's rescope and let's figure out what happened. Cool. Head down. Starting at the base. Seven is clear. 
sacrum is clear. Six is clear. Atlas showed up. Crazy. Okay. So we're going to be doing the top one. Okay? C1. Nice and easy there. Good. Good. Nice and easy there. Good. Oh. Hold on. Nice. <laughs> Sit up straight for me. You okay? Yeah. Look straight ahead. Turn to the left, turn to the right. Look straight ahead, look up, up and to the left. Up and to the right. Look straight ahead, look down, down and left. Down and right. Good. Awesome. Now let's check the shoulders, okay? okay. Let me do the work. Let me do the work. So here's what's going to happen, at least what I suspect. She does have that ratchety feel, the, the, the clicking and the grinding. Mm -hmm. We went ahead and we set C1, T7, and sacrum. But this is going to get fixed when we get to 6 and 3. Okay, here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to, I'm gonna to be touching different parts of your, your back, okay? T1, 2, and 3. I'd like you to just do some movements this way. Okay. You can do it seated, please. So go ahead and just, let's move the right shoulder. Up and right. Up. Yep. Now let's do the left side. Here's what I want you to see. When I do it, mm -hmm. you hear a little bit of that. You feel that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to just hold the elbow. One, two, three. Let's do it. Four. Three. Two. T3 side slip, T2 is causing. Okay, let's go back down on the gray table. I gotta do one more thing. So here's what I'm seeing, the T3 side mm -hmm. and T2 out. So let's set T3, we're gonna do it in two parts. Slide up a little bit, please. Good, and down. And the first part, we're gonna do it on the right side. The second part, I need to come to the left. There's seven. One, two, three. Chin up a tiny bit, please, up. bit more. Drop the left shoulder down. Gotcha. Perfect. And for this one you can just walk once that way and have a seat. Ready. Move your shoulder. Have a seat back over here please. A little bit different. Yeah, a little bit. Have a seat, please. She had all kinds of little things hiding out. Mm -hmm. mm. All clear. Uh, I'm going to work on your shoulders. I'm reaching over. I'm bringing the elbow back towards me. There you go. Back towards me. That's it. On your back, please. And the thing I want you guys to notice here, you can notice this here, her left ankle is a little more swollen than, sorry, her right ankle is a little more swollen than the left. This is the one she sprained. You sprained this. I did. This. You see how the story slowly comes out? They are, everybody wants to hide their stuff. Or they test me. 
So let's do lotion. We're going to work out some of the swelling and scar tissue. This is the periarticular swelling, swelling on the outside of the joint. She has an AS talus medial tilt right there. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two. She does like the one. <laughs> AS talus, medial tilt, sound as the board. Gotcha. Wow. Nice. Bring the toes back, forward, back, forward. Back, forward. There you go. A little bit more. There. Let's check. Much better. The movement is better, the clicking and all that, that's all part of the ligamentous system, okay, because things have been off. Okay. I'm going to give you your homework, and actually let's do the machine first. <laughs> Ulna, posterior ulna, posterior lunate, yeah. posterior scaphoid, there you yeah. go, squeeze, posterior radial head, posterior distal radius, yeah. posterior lunate, posterior lateral scaphoid. <laughs> go like that five times please, fast. Squeeze my hand, should feel different now. There you go. Squeeze. Wow. Squeeze. Okay. That's where we're going to start. Okay. Questions for me for today? No. You it's understand fine. You understand what I found? I think so, yeah. Number one, foundation. Number two, mid-back. Mm -hmm. T3 was hiding in there. T3. T3 was the culprit for the shoulders and all that stuff. Okay. Okay? You'll ice. Enjoy your walk. I'll see you in a couple of days. Okay. Okay, my dear? Thank you. Welcome to the <laughs> office.